Happy Father's Day to everybody. <laughs> <clears throat> Sunday morning. It's Father's Day. Friends, time's flying. Time is freaking flying by. My kid just graduated, my, my, my second girl, or you know, my second kid, Rita. Uh, she graduated in prom night there. Uh, wow. If you're a father, just a quick message before we get into the video, friends. If, if you're watching this and, and you're a dad and maybe, maybe things haven't gone you know, like that smooth road that maybe you had had intentions of doing. Do you know what I mean? Maybe it didn't. Maybe you don't see your kids all the time. You know, maybe you, maybe you and your, your wife didn't see eye to eye or your girl didn't see eye to eye and you ended up going separate ways. No one thing. It's got nothing to do with you and everything to do with your boy or your girl, okay? They need you. Your kids need you. If you're angry at your, your mate or, the, or the, the child's mother, get over it. It's a woman. You're a man. This is a child we're talking about, a young child who probably lots of his friends have a dad and a mother that, do you know what I mean? So what I'm saying to you is it's not too late. It is not too late. Your kid thinks about you all the time. The reason I know that is because I was came from a broken home and I thought about my dad all the time, but I had myself fooled that it didn't bother me, but it bothered the heck out of me, friends. It did. If you're a father and, and you're estranged from your, your kid or you're making choices that because you're, you're angry at somebody and, you, and you're, you're using that as an excuse to not see your kid, that's hard on that kid. It's real hard on that kid. I was that kid. So, it's not too late. It's not too late to be a dad on this Father's Day. It's intense. Kids need their dads and their moms. So, be a man. Be a freaking man. And go see your kid. Get over your differences with the, with the mother. Whatever your ordeal is, your kid needs you. And he loves you or she loves you dearly. And she thinks about you and he thinks about you all the time. Get out of yourself. And go see your kid and be a dad. Happy Father's Day to you. Even if things have gone awry, happy Father's Day to you. Okay. Well, friends, you know, when you're building your workbenches, you got to think about all the little things in your world that you do. Right, friends? That you do, that you do. Well, what I do is I swap the odd bar tip out. If, you're, if, you're, if your bar is in rough shape, I happen to have a tip right here. And the crazy thing is, well, it's not that crazy, is I've got, it's three eighths, it's a power cut pro, right there, it's three eighths, I've got it, boom, it's done, ready to go. It's... You think you can be kind to folks today? Do you think you can, do you think you can? I think you can. One thing I do know, I'm actually quite serious about this stuff. Um, and if I sound like a broken record on it, there's worse things to sound like a broken record on, friends. 
we can talk about being kind, we can understand about being kind or being nice to people, but when you experience making somebody feel good, giving them something of your time, your love, a cup of coffee, a snicker, a nod and a wink, just howdy, connection, human connection. Hey, let me give you a hand with that, partner. Or, hey, you know, no, you don't owe me nothing. Just, I just want to give you a hand. Can we, I, I'm going to do it anyways. I, I don't know what you're going to do, but but I'm stepping it up. I am, I'm stepping it up. It's Father's Day today, friends. It's Father's Day. As a man and as a father, as a capable, physical, mental and spiritual human being, I happen to be a man. I'm going to do whatever's in my physical power to help people physically, mentally, and spiritually through through their times. So uh, it's it's not talk anymore. It's action. And 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 I believe you can do it too. I I do. I I believe you've got it in you. But if you're having a hard time being nice to people, do you know what I mean? Like if if it's if it's if it's not coming to you easily, then work on yourself a bit and and start doing things to give yourself reason to feel good about you because without you right there's that old saying without us there isn't you know there's nothing you can't you, how are you going to help anybody when you're walking around feeling real bad about yourself so yeah let's be kind let's be nice let's do this friends Back to the woodcutting show. Got a little rivets right there. See right in the bag, there's the rivets. I've actually got rivets right here as well because this is where I bang my tips out. Look at this. There's a rivet right there. That's where I store them, right in here. So this is where I bang my tips out. See that hole right there? I put this over. There's, a, there's an X on your tip usually right there. You can see the X right there. Grab yourself a punch, right? Put it over top of the hole. Shaklank, right? Let's get our punch, which is, well, matter of fact, it's right there. Now I've got two punches. Let's make sure we got the right one. There's the one I like for this. There it is, there's my punch. Shaklank. Grab my ball peen, my favorite little hammer in the world, right? Oh my goodness, would you look at that? Oh, well. And the reason we're doing this, look at that, friends. Out she comes, just like that. Shaklankos. The reason we're doing it is this. Look at it. It's freaking worn right out. I can grind it. I've already ground it 10 times. It's done. It's garbage, okay? Put her in the metal bin. Now, let's grab our new tip. Magic. Now, I've already got tips, so I'll take these two spare tips. Or, pardon me, I'll take these two uh, studs, these little guys, and I'm just going to put them in here because that's where I do my stuff. I'll take one out. There's one there. I'll just grab it out of there. Shaklank out of clonies. I will clean this out a little bit here, right? Just give it a, a little cleanse. Let's take a look here. That should have a, it'll have a little divot on it. You'll see it. It goes, it only goes in one way, friends. See, it'll go in and it'll lay flat. You see? Let's see here. Let's see if this is the way. It doesn't go in that way. So it goes in this way. Oh, actually, you know what that is? That's the used tip. <laughs> that's funny there boom there it goes it lays flat and you hammer it down poof down it goes okay you hammer it and it comes through and you ball peen it on the other side it even tells you friends it, it even tells you on the other side to 
to do it that way. It, it tells you to do it that way. On the bag, it says hammer, shows you the uh, illustrations, <laughs> how to do it. So that's what we're gonna do. Whoa. So there's the old rivet. That's one that's used, you can tell. Yeah, so I just keep it because you never know. Maybe I can get it, get a use out of it for something. All right. Tip on. Boom, that's it. Brand new tip, okay? And there's our, you can see it, because there's a little, you'll, you'll see it only goes one way, friends. You can see it there, okay? All right. There we go. Okay, so we tap that in, make sure it goes Make sure it goes in. I use my ball peen, right? Just, just make sure it's it's in there. There it goes there, okay? There, now it's flat down in there, okay? Now, see, it sticks out a little bit here, right there. So we take it down to the, to the magical, magical railway tie down here. See, look at the, look at. Punch it out, slip it on, see, see what it's telling you to do? Ball peen hammer, shaklankos. Okay, that's it. That's it. It's tight, it's tight, tight, tight. Like it's on there. We're done. There. Done. New tip. Now I'll show you something which is interesting. You'll notice. See here? See how it's because I've ground these bars. I've fixed these bars a few times now. So now all I do, friends, is I just chamfer this down here a little bit. I just join the two surfaces together so I'm not catching any edges. There we are. Brand new tip. Solid as a rock on there, friends. All right. So now I just come over here and I just use my little favorite little thing. I'm a bobberoni. Ba 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 freaking roni. Ba ba ba. That's all I do. See, friends? Now it's it's kind of tapered, you see? See? There it is. No edges. Brand new tip. Friends, I wanna share something with you right here, right now. Uh, I'm actually making, I'm making axes, is what I'm doing. Um, I've just put together, this is crazy this axe but I want to show you what's going on here it's a great big Sager head on a 32 inch handle but look at this look, look at the size of this wedge now it's another custom fit okay so there's the skinny side so that there is going here like this it's the fat side isn't it yep it is Okay, look at this, friends. <clears throat> I, I like to try and make a custom wedge. You guys can't see me, can you? But you can see that. Okay, it's a big wedge. It, it, it is a big wedge. It's walnut, so it's hard, but 
Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'll get all of it. I, I'm shooting for three quarters. If I got it all, that would just be wonderful. It, it would be wonderful. See, uh, I get excited. I just, I do. I, I make these calls. You know, you're, everybody makes calls when they're going along. You make a call. You go, should I take a bit more there? I don't want to take too much because you, you don't, you don't want it to be a, a, you know, a soft fit. You want it to, you want it to fight. But you got to think about species. What are you using? Are you using some soft poplar? Well, then you can go fat because it'll squish. Right? It will. It'll squish. But the hardwoods don't. They, they don't squish. Um, friends, we, we, we basically got the whole freaking... That was a ton of wood, friends. That was a ton of wood. <laughs> hey? Yeah. You know what? Let's go. This axe is a, is a monster Sager. It, it is, it's a monster Sager. We're going after some freaking Arbutus right now. We're doing it. Let's get this square so you guys are level off, not feeling like you've been drinking. Okay, let's check this out. Uh, rock and a sock action. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Rock and a sock. Where's some firewood? Oh my. Oh, yep. You just, you just get right on it, friends, right? Just get right on it. Let's go over here to this chopping block. Why not? It fell out of the truck that way. Why not? Let's check this sucker out. Daniel, son. Oh my goodness, this thing's beautiful. Watch this sequence, friends. Hickory is tough. It's real tough. I cracked it over there a little bit on the wood. I got all excited because I couldn't wait. And uh, it, it's, it's, hickory's tough. Yeah, see, this is a, I got so many good axes now. Oh, that was lovely. Oh, that was sweet. Let's do it again. Let's see if we can do that again. I doubt it. No, that's not going to happen. Look at that, friends. <laughs> oh. Hey. 
Arbutus. Look at this stuff, friends. It is crazy. Honestly, it is. That's why the chopping block is nice for this. This 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 way this axe is crazy. Oh, how do you get rid of these things? How, how do you you can't? How do you get rid of that? You can, you can't get rid of that. Sager. No. No. Okay, enough. I'm going. I'm going a little crazy here. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm loving my firewood, my axes. Well, Over now. Um, from from Ladysmith though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh look at that. Oh honey, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Honey. So friends, this is Rita's graduating one year early because she decided she wants to take on life a little quicker. Mm -hmm. My diploma. Get out. Whoa, who's that? Oh, it's the oh, hippie. Honey. We gotta, we gotta get a haircut again. No way, son, look. Still on cue. Still on I wouldn't do that. Don't do that, Don't she do says. That. Don't even try. There's no way you'll pronounce it. I won't. Mouthful of peanut butter. Oh, no way, look at this. This is so cool. Butter? Rita, this is, I'm so proud of my Indians. <laughs> I have Indians. I, me, I have Indians. True Indians. God's Indians. <laughs> I don't have anything. God has everything. But I mean, I love Indians. First Nations, yes, I know. You're a rookie. But I grew up with natives. I, so cool. I prefer natives. You are being honored and recognized for your learning and accomplishments as a student of Nanaimo Laysmith Public Schools. So, Rita, while we got you on film with your new eyelashes... And my cat. Do you know any tricks with those eyelashes? Let's see. Oh, that's <laughs> a tricky one. Nice, Bob. Yeah, learned that one back in the day. Back in the day, Rita. So, Talk to me about your graduation feeling in your in your heart, in your mind, in your spirit. How do you feel? I'm nervous in a good way. Yes. And that's pretty much it. I'm just excited. And do do it's you done. do you really care about the the whole things change because of COVID? Does it matter to you at all? You mean how my prom's going to be different? Yeah. No. It doesn't, does it? Because. I'm hanging out with the people who I only care about. Right. I want to hang out with the 12 kids who I love. The 12 closest people. Yep. Thank you for sharing your your lovely time with us. Thanks. No problem. There goes my native. I'm graduated. I love it. Mom, way to go. Love you. Say goodbye to your fans. Bye. That is so funny. So, so friends, I, I joke, and if you're if you're native or First Nations or whatever, the words are politically correct. Friends, I grew up. <laughs> it was Indian. You are an Indian, and I still call my good friends, my native friends, native or Indian. First Nations came in to be politically correct a little while ago. And of course I use that. And my whole family's native. Wendy's family's native, as you all know. But I, as a young man, I got booted out of school in grade six, which was Woodbank Elementary, which is right down there. They kicked me out. I wasn't a good student. I was, I was, I think back in the day, if they, if they, um, 
diagnose you with things like they do now, like A, D, H, L, M, N, O, P, Z, Q, you know the ones, right? All that stuff. I'd have them all. I, I guaranteed I would. It's ADHD, isn't it? Is that what it is? Well, friends, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to this on you right now. It, it's, it's, I grew up with natives, okay? But what happened to me when they kicked me out of Woodbank Elementary, which is right down, and at that time, I was known as Lil Buckin, okay? Now, they booted me out. I lived in Yellow Point, so the next catchment was a place called North Oyster School. North Oyster. And I, I went there in grade six, <clears throat> and it was... Predominant, not predominantly, but I would think 50-50 natives and, and white honkies like me. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not going to get into the nicknames we used to call one another because that might be a little bit disrespectful at this time now in this politically correct world we live in. But, you know something? Lucas. Lucas, are you out there? Um, you got in a car crash, didn't you, Lucas? Yeah, I know you did. And I got reached out to. I got to put. I got to put this phone down. My shoulder's falling right off. I didn't think this video was going to go this long, but it is. It's going longer. I want. I want. I want to. While well, we're on the on the on the phone here on on the on the camera, uh, Lucas got in, a, in an accident, friends. He did. He got in an accident. Uh, have I talked about this? Have I done this yet? Why? Well, if I haven't, I'm going to do it right now. And if I have, I'll make sure I haven't before I upload it. Um, he, he, he crashed his truck <clears throat> somehow. And he's having a bit of a time right now. Well, Lucas, I want you to know something. Whenever, listen, I'm just going to give it to you straight, Lucas. I've been in a lot of crashes <laughs> and I've been in a lot of scraping, scraping by with my life scenarios. Um, your character has just become stronger, my friend. It has. It's just become stronger because you didn't die. And there's an old saying, what don't kill you makes you stronger. I know it's cliche and it's kind of goofy, but it's, it's true. It's real true. What's happening, Ty? Yeah, so do that and then we'll go. Um, so Lucas, I just want you to know, buddy, that we love you here. At Buck and Billy Ray's Tree Service, the Buck and Army and the Soldiers of Kindness and the Messengers of Kindness, we love you, buddy. Heal up tight. Tatten up. Do the tatten up. And you know, Lucas, now that you're here, and I and I happen to just look over at my harmonica. I'm an old hack from way back, an old harmonica hack. I used to pack it to school in my, in my jean jacket pocket. And when we were all kind of waiting for the bus or, or, or hanging around in the old outdoor cubes where the sound was good, I would blow a little harmonica solo for my friends, you see? Because they all knew I was kind of a drifter, Lucas. You know what I'm talking about, buddy? Here's a little tune for you, Lucas. Lucas, that was for you, and I hope it makes you feel better, buddy. Because the, the human body, the carcass, the spirit, the healing, the healing powers of the universe. It's the same power that heals trees and, and, and flowers grow. And every season, you know, there's a growth, there's an energy, there's like a 
it's a force, the force of life, the healing forces. It's in the universe. You'll tap into it, brother, and you will heal up. Buddy, I've had bones smashed into pieces and I can't even, I won't even go into it. And my body has gotten a hold of it, brother. It's gotten a hold of it. Here I stand, right here. Yeah, I'm a few pounds a little heavier than I used to be when I was a, uh, you know, a going young fella. But you know what? Ah, I can deal with that. Right, buddy? Lucas, we love you. Over and out to you, buddy. Stay strong out there. And be kind, Lucas.